Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be another wig review all about this hair that I have on right now. So if you're interested to learn about the hair, what I'm wearing, where it's from, and my thoughts on it, then just keep on watching. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you have any other questions that I didn't cover in this video, be sure to let me know down below and I'll try my best to answer all of them, as well as subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. So this wig that I'm wearing is from lavyhair.com. This is human hair. I'm going to give you the specs on the wig really quickly and then I'll get into like packaging, things like that, what I did for it to look like this, and then I'll go over my final thoughts and opinions in the end. So the hair that I'm wearing is 130 density superior grade Brazilian natural wave lace front and it's in the length 24 inches. So I'll either stand up or back up so you guys can see the length in a few. But um, yeah, that is what this wig is. So it's not full lace. There are tracks in the back, but it has lace all around the front from like ear to ear and then some in the back as well. So quickly, I just want to talk about packaging and how everything was shipped to me. So I believe this was shipped via DHL and it came to me pretty quickly. And I really, really like the packaging. I'm going to insert clips of what it looked like. But basically the hair came in this like black silky little pouch and it says Lavi hair on it, 100% virgin human hair. And it has their website and it just has like a little drawstring on the top and once you open it up they included a free little brush in it which was so nice it's like cheetah print it's really cute. It's like one of those detangling brushes that are really in right now. They also included a pamphlet with different information about their brand, hair care tips, installing, everything like that, as well as their social media and contact information. And then the hair came in a plastic, kind of like a large Ziploc bag. And on that, there was a little sticker that just said Lavi Hair, and it said Brazilian Virgin Hair. And once you take the hair out, the hair was wrapped in a hairnet, and inside there was also another little card that had like their logo and contact information, and it told you the length of the hair, so it had a little sticker that said 24. And then once I took the hairnet off, the hair also came with some tissue paper kind of stuffed inside to keep its shape. This hair came so soft, like it feels so, so soft. The hair on this is so nice, and it feels really high quality, and it was really bouncy like right out of the package, which was really nice to see. Now the cap construction, as you can see as I described before, this is a lace front. The hair came with lace from ear to ear, but the rest of it had tracks and there was also lace in the back. And the wig in total had four combs, two on the side, one in the center, one in the back, as well as adjustable straps in the back for extra security. I went ahead and cut off the lace and I originally left the baby hairs that were on it, but as you can see they were way too long and then when I tried to fix it and cut them shorter, I cut them too short. So I ended up just cutting off all the baby hairs. So as you can see now I have baby hairs but these are actually my natural baby hairs that I just did and then I have the lace right behind my natural like hairline kind of basically it's still kind of hiding my hairline but I just pulled out some baby hairs just to make it look a little more natural and yeah I installed the hair I actually the wig is just literally plopped on my head right now and I just tighten the strings all the way and I have the comb in the back end but I don't have the combs in the front because I don't really like using combs I feel like sometimes they can pull on your hair so I don't really like to use combs that much and as you you guys can see this hair is just so bouncy it's just I'm literally pulling it all the way up and it just falls right back down and this wave pattern is really nice this is their natural wave my only thing is I don't feel like it's gonna look like this after I wash it I feel like it'll look even more like a natural wave. this texture kind of looks like you crimped your hair or like braided it or something so I feel like to maintain this natural like this um, curl pattern or wave pattern you could just braid the hair but I am interested to wash it and see what the natural texture will look like after you wash it because I'm sure they'll either get more defined or a little looser that's usually how it works but being that it's natural wave and not body wave I feel like it might get like a little bit of a tighter curl so I literally have the wig just plopped on I don't have any like glue or anything like I usually use got to be glue on my wigs um, I just wanted to put it on for the video see how I liked it I actually really like it when I looked in the mirror I was like whoa this is so cute. Um, I like it a lot. If you guys saw my last wig video, I went into like a little more in depth about how I style my wig straight from the box to getting it on my head. So if you guys want to see um, kind of my tips on how to in I install my wigs and things like that, you can check out that video. I'll have it linked down below. I posted that video about a week ago. So if I were to actually install this hair, I'm probably going to just use some got to be glued around the perimeter. I think I'd cut away some of the lace here like I did in that video if you guys saw that one. And then if 
I were to keep this on longer, which I actually might, I really like how this looks, I'll probably braid my hair underneath in cornrows and then go about an inch behind the hairline and just sew it down just so it's extra secure because I don't really like to use the combs or anything and if I'm going to wear it, I like to actually like install it basically um, just so it feels secure and I don't have to worry about taking it off at night or not looking good in the morning because it's really secure and on. This hair is 24 inches and my belly button is about here and this comes to about there. You can't really tell because I'm wearing something baggy. But this is really long and it's so nice. It says 130 density and at first I was questioning that because it looked a little thin. But I think it's because the way the wave pattern is. I feel like if I run my fingers through it a little bit, which you can because the hair is so soft, that it'll get a little more voluminous as you can see. So I think I'm going to do that just to get a little more volume because when my hair is wavy or curly, I like it to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I didn't really, I do want to point out that this hair, because it's just a lace front and it's not a full lace wig, you only get about, I would say, three inches max of parting space. And me personally, if I'm going to do a part on a wig, I want it to look as natural as possible. So I like to go really deep with my parts. So I think how I have it right now kind of this like flip over look is how I would wear this wig just to make it look a little more natural and not do like a specific part because I feel like that would make this look really wiggy if I had just like a part that was only like this far back and like super defined with like concealer in it and everything. Okay, cap construction. I think the construction of this cap is really well. It looks very high quality. The lace looks very high quality, but at the same time very soft and comfortable against your hairline and your natural hair. So I definitely appreciate that. I also like that they included all of the combs in case you are someone who wants to wear them. I don't mind that at all. I feel like I prefer a company to include the combs in the back and in the front and everything. And I feel like if you don't want to wear them, you can easily just like cut them out. So if not, you can just leave them and it usually doesn't affect anything but I appreciate the fact that they added all that just for extra security. I really like the packaging, how it came in a silky bag, because sometimes when companies send me boxes, they're like smushed or damaged. So the fact that it came in a bag was really cute, and I liked how they included that brush, and the pamphlet was really informative, um, and the brush was really nice. Like, that's... Guys, this is like a really nice brush. Like, I used to work at Marshalls, and we used to sell these for like $10, or maybe even more, I don't even know. But, um, yeah, I never had a brush like this, so I'm excited about that. Okay, overall hair quality, again, this is the first day I'm wearing this hair, the first day I tried it on. So, obviously, the hair is going to look and be on its best behavior. But at the same time, that's not necessarily true because sometimes you can get hair, and as soon as you run your fingers through it, it can start getting gross and matted up. And this hair looks amazing, feels amazing, and it's just so soft. Like, do you see how it's just, like bouncy like oh guys I think we have a winner I think I'm gonna be wearing this for a while guys this hair is probably going to be in my last video, which is my back to school haul part two, because I'm actually going to film that video after this. That video is probably going to go up before this. If you are wondering, this is the same hair that's going to be in that video. Guys, I really like this hair. Like, I just feel like I don't have much more to say. This hair just looks really, really nice. It is so easy. Like, I said that the last wig that I got was really easy, which it was. Don't get me wrong. The hair quality is amazing. I rocked that hair for about three days straight after that video, and it gave me no problems. It was still amazing. Super Super great hair, super great quality, and I did say in that video that I felt like that hair was very beginner friendly, but I actually think that this wig is more beginner friendly because I literally cut the wig off, put my baby hairs, like I did my own baby hairs, and plopped this wig on and then flipped it over and I literally did nothing else. And I feel like it looks pretty, like okay, honestly I don't think this hair looks like my natural hair would be like this texture, but I feel like it looks natural in terms of it doesn't look like I'm wearing a wig. So when I'm saying like it looks natural, that's kind of what I mean. Like I feel like no one would detect that I'm wearing a wig unless they're like all up in my face right here, but um. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I don't really have much more to say. I'm probably gonna wear this hair for a while, so if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below, and I might do, like, an update video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see update videos on my wig. Sometimes I don't do them because I don't know if you guys, um, want them. Also, a lot of the times I don't do them because the hair is just great. Like, if you see me wearing it all the time, that probably means I love the hair, and everything I said in my initial video, I still stand by it. 
Um, but yeah, usually I probably would only do a video if like the hair is terrible. But if you guys want me to do an update letting you know how the hair is holding up, if it looks good and everything like that, let me know down below. I have no problem doing that. So for $10 off, you guys can put in Ariana10 when you guys go check out. I will have the website link down below. I will have the direct link to this wig link down below. And I will also have the coupon code written out as well as the specs on this wig in case you guys missed it and you were like wondering. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just love wigs. It's like so fun for me, like trying out new wigs and just experimenting with them. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this hair? Do you guys like the straight hair in my last video or do you like my natural little bob? Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, if you have any other questions or concerns, be sure to leave them down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or you just enjoyed and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.